In this lesson, I'm going over 10 more licks in the style of BB King. This is a continuation of my last lesson. I had a part one of this, uh, 10 licks in the style of BB King. And in that lesson, I covered 10 intro licks. So basically licks that you play over the first bar in a 12 bar blues. This lesson is about what to play over the second bar in a 12 bar blues, all in the style of BB King. So if I could play through, if you don't know it too well, a a 12 bar blues pattern here, at least the first couple bars. The first chord we're gonna start off, and we're playing in the key of B here, is the B chord. Then we're gonna play a bar on the E chord, and then we're gonna land back on the B chord. So all together, the first three bars in the 12 bar blues sounds like this. That's the first three bars, B to E, then B. So what this lesson is, is going over 10 licks to play over that first E chord, the second bar. So basically all these licks start on uh, what you should play over the E and they all land on notes that go well with the B chord. Because right after the E we go back to the B. Now what that means to us, if you wanna get into the theory part of it, is that all the licks start in the B minor scale and they land in the B major scale because we're landing on B. So um, B minor pentatonic uh, works very well over the E chord. And this is, you know, the, the play the play the uh, minor pentatonic over the four chord and play the major pentatonic over the one chord. This is why that works. When you play the uh, minor pentatonic scale over the E chord, what you got there is this flat seven that's in the E, the D note. That note is in the minor pentatonic scale. And that note is also in the E dominant seven chord or E nine chord. Now that's why the major pentatonic doesn't really work too well over the E dominant chord because in the E major pentatonic scale, you have this note. You have the, the D sharp there. Um, that would sound like this. If I, if I were to play that note with those notes, it would sound like this. It's not a good sound. So the major pentatonic doesn't work too well over that chord, but the minor pentatonic works really well again, because it has that D note. So, uh, minor scale, minor pentatonic scale, when we play the E. And then when we get to the B, we want to land on a note that's very strong with a B chord. Oftentimes that is the third of B, the, uh, the D sharp there. So, um, that's how all these licks work out. I start on the minor, uh, minor pentatonic scale, and then I land on some notes that goes really well over the, uh, over the B chord there. So that's the, uh, the gist of the, of the lick. Another thing to pay attention to here is the amount of space that I leave between the uh, opening of the four chord and the start of the lick. So I don't just start playing notes right when I get to the E chord. I have at least a bar or two of space between I start playing. And that's uh, when you're improvising, um, you wanna get into that habit, leaving a little space between your phrases. It sounds cluttered and doesn't sound too good. If you're just playing notes all the way through, it sounds kind of like gibberish. So, um, so for example, the notes go, so the licks will sound something like this. If I'm playing over a 12 bar blues, I might do a little intro lick. And then when I, play the four, I'll wait a little bit, and then I'll do something like this. So there's a little bit of space between that intro lick and this lick. So for each one of these licks, what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna open up the lick with a strike on the E chord. So you know that's where the bar begins. And I'll count it out so you can see exactly, you know, how, how far in uh, before I start playing the lick. And that will show you how much space I'm using uh, in the 12-bar blues. 
So uh, with that first lesson, there are 10, in, 10, 10 intro licks, and uh, these 10 licks here, you're gonna have a really good start uh, playing over a 12 bar blues. I'm gonna have some more follow-up lessons to this over what to play over the rest of the 12 bar blues, but um, you know, a lot of what you get out of, out of um, this style is really these first two lessons. We're covering a lot here what to play over the one chord and what to play over the four chord. And that's a lot of the, the 12 bar blues. If you can do just those two things, you know, these, these two lessons, you can probably figure it out on your own how to, how to play over the rest of the 12 bar blues. But in any case, there's gonna be some, uh, some follow up lessons after this. So with that, let's go ahead and get started into these licks. Here is the first lick. So there's the first lick right there. Let's break it down. So kind of a fast lick, uh, obviously starting in the B minor pentatonic scale. So we land on the E chord, and then we get into this uh, lick right here. Uh, now that lick right there, the tricky part is when you climb down, when you get up to the seventh on the second string, a little bit of a roll there. Licks like that where you're doing the roll are always a little bit trickier. It really helps to keep your fingers as close as possible to the neck as, as possible. And get those notes to really bleed together. I'm picking every single note starting on a downstroke. And just alternate picking all the way through. Um, but you wanna make those notes bleed together really well, even though you're picking every single note. That will make this really sound good. So you wanna make it sound like that instead of staccato. You don't wanna make it sound like that where very staccato, very, very, uh, you know, uh, kind of brittle across the notes. You wanna make it really smooth. Um, and try and experiment with the phrasing there. Don't try and play it even like the way I play it. Maybe you mix up the rhythm a little bit. Or maybe throw in a little bit of dynamics. So pick some notes harder and some notes softer. So uh, try and mix it up a little bit. And then the last uh, few notes, we're getting into the B major pentatonic scale. Notice that I get to the B major pentatonic scale before I get to the actual B uh, chords. So the last few notes of the E is still going and I'm playing the B major pentatonic scale already. Um, now the idea there is you're kind of anticipating the next chord coming and you can kind of get away with it. So you can get away playing the major chord, uh, the major pentatonic over the E because you're anticipating the major chord coming up. So it still sounds okay. Um, so in any case, that's the rest of the lick. Let's play it one more time at a slow speed. So there's the next lick right here. Uh, another fairly fast lick, at least uh, far as far as BB uh, King goes, he usually plays pretty slowly. So uh, basically, we're we're hanging on the E for one bar, and then we get into the lick. So it's so just one bar. And that lick is mostly climbing down the B minor pentatonic scale. So. So climb down at least that far. I'm pulling off every time there, so. Then we land on the sixth fret of the third string, which is the second of, uh, of B there. So BB um, King likes to play that note a lot when he's playing over the four chord. So watch for that. Um, work that note right there into some other licks that you're learning here. It always tends to go well over this chord. Sounds really good over that E chord. So 
Um, watch out for that note. That's the big takeaway here. And then the last few notes are a really easy hammer up. And that last seven is landing on the B. So that's landing on the B. So let's play through this one lick one more time at a slow speed. So there's the next lick. I'm leaving a lot of space in this one. Um, and there's a few licks I have like it, this in this lesson where I'm resting for two full beats before I start playing. So the E chord comes in. So that's one, two, and then not until the count of three do I start playing. So it's one, two, and then I start playing. So the lick after that, when I get to that, is uh, really simple. That's it. And then the next note, I land right on the B chord, which is happens to be the B note. So the whole lick after I rest is this. And then I do that really standard kind of double stop, stop like they were. I'm playing seven and seven on the second and third string. And I hammer up to the eighth and the third string. Another thing that sounds good there is the bend, slight bend on that D note on the seventh fret on the third string. So like this. Um, so that's it. The takeaway from this lick is the amount of space I'm leaving between the opening of the second bar and, and uh, when I start playing. So watch out for that. Here, let's play the lick one more time at a slow speed. So there's the next lick, another one where I'm waiting two full beats before I start playing the actual notes. So the E chord comes in, two, and then on the three, that's when I start playing. Um, in the lick I'm playing there is a really kind of standard BB King triplet lick, so it's like this. Start on the 12, hit again on the 10, and do a quick hammer on pull off on the 12. So. So that lick right there, it's a great BB King lick. Then 10, 12, and then seven to eight on the uh, third string, landing on that major third of the B. You can either slide it up or hammer it up. However you wanna do it, whatever sounds good to you. So one more time at a slow speed. So there is the next lick there. Um, I took a little some liberties with this one. This is, you know, BB King style lick, but I threw in a couple uh, little fast parts there. So not totally 100% BB King, but um, uh, mostly in his style. Took a couple liberties to give something a little bit more challenging to play in this lesson. I know a lot of these licks are pretty easy, so this one is uh, hopefully a challenge at, at least for some of you. Um, so the the lick. Um, and again, I'm not playing, I'm not starting to play until I get into the third beat of the second bar. So it's, and then I start playing on the three. So the uh, lick is this, starting from up here on the 10th fret on the B minor pentatonic scale. Just climbing down, and then we get to the fast part. And that's the fast part, so let's break that down. We're starting on the ninth fret on the third string, sliding up to the 10, sliding back to the nine, pulling off to the seven, and then landing on the nine on the fourth string. So it's like this. So 
So there it is up to speed. There's a lot of different ways to play this. You can play, pluck it once on the ninth fret, slide up without picking, slide back and then pull off, and then land on the nine on the fourth string. So I'm only picking once there, and then landing on the nine. You can pick once on the ninth, and then pick again on the tenth. That sounds good too. So either way you want to do it, there's not a wrong way to do it. So whatever feels comfor comfortable to you or whatever you're able to play, um, play that. So uh, that's it. The rest of the lick is pretty easy. We uh, go seven, nine on the third string. And then when we get to the B chord, we do that double stop. That's just the seven, seven on the second and third string and then hammer up to the eight on the third string. And then finally we end on a the seventh fret sliding down. Very classic BB King thing there. You can also try it on the 19th. He does that as well. So either way works. Um, so let's play through this lick one more time at a slow speed. So there is the next lick, let's break it down. This one, I'm leaving a lot of space. I'm almost playing two full beats before I start playing the lick. I hit the E chord, and uh, there's two 16th notes before I land on the third beat. So it's, uh, when I do this, um, that third note there is the note that lands on the third beat, so it's, So Lenny on that ninth fret, that's where the third beat is. So that's the timing. But the lick is pretty uh, straightforward. I do that climb down the minor minor uh, chord there. So the seven and seven and the second and third and then the nine. Again, that's the one where you want to watch the roll and make the notes bleed into each other. And then we go seventh fret on the fifth string. So we're going lower here instead of higher. We've been going higher in a lot of licks. We're going lower. Then slide up five, six in the fifth. That's the major third, very major sound. So let's play through this one more time at a slow speed. So there's the next lick, a really classic BB King style lick here. So again, starting in the third beat, where we don't play until the third beat of the second bar, so E chord. And then on the three, that's when we start playing. And the main part of this lick here is this bend up on the 12th. Bend up and then pull off 12, 10, and then hit the 12th fret on the second string twice. So let's play through that really slow. Then we hit the 12th fret on the second through string again. And that's right before we go to the first string and do that 10-11 hammer on. And that 11 is the major third of B. So we're landing really well on that B chord there. So um, we hit that 12th note three times actually, right? Because it's, that's two. And then we hit it again. And then land on the 10, hammer up to 11. That's it. So let's play through this lick one more time at a slow speed. So there is the next lick. Let's break this down. This one, I start on the second beat of the second bar. So it's E, and then I start playing on the second beat there. This one, what's unique about this one is I'm doing a 
a one and a half step bend up from the uh, seventh fret on the second string. And you want to make sure you land on that perfectly. Doesn't sound good if you go a half step up, or a whole step up rather. You don't want that note right there because that does not go well over uh, the chord. Again, we're playing over E, that note would be this. Um, it, so it sounds all right, but step and a half sounds way better. Uh, we're not in the, the B minor pentatonic scale there um, if we're doing only a one step bend up. So that's what we want right there, that big half, one and a half step bend. Um, so just climb down from there. And then I do kind of a position shift thing. So I go, I go seven, four on the third string and I bring my first finger back up to the seven on the, on the uh, fourth string. So, and that gets my hand in position to play the ninth fret with my third finger there. So watch the fingering. Then we slide up seven to eight on the third string. And then finally land on the seventh fret on the first string. Again, maybe play the 19th in place of that. So that sounds good too. So uh, the takeaways of this one are I start playing on the second beat of the second bar. So and then start playing in that one and a half step bend. It's really important to get accurate with those, uh, those bends, landing exactly in the note. So practice that if you're not good at landing right on the note. Okay, so let's play through the lick one more time at a slow speed. So there's the next lick. Um, let's break this down. And, and uh, one takeaway from this lick is uh, I decided for no reason at all to try and play this with my fingers. So I didn't play that with the pick there. And that's something to experiment with. All these licks, you can play with your pick. Um, but uh, this type of playing sounds really good with your fingers when you're playing with a clean tone. So definitely experiment with that. Um, you don't need to try and play every note with your fingers, but maybe just throw in a note or two here and there um, just to experiment and see how it sounds. So for example, something you can do really easy is uh, starting on the uh, seventh fret and sliding up to the eighth. Maybe you hit that with your pick and then hit the seventh fret on the first string, but do that with your finger. Really easy hybrid lick there and uh, gets you used to that finger playing, but That playing with your fingers uh, uh, gives it a totally different sound and is, uh, can sound pretty cool. So uh, start to experiment with that if you're strictly doing your pick. You can uh, expand your playing quite a bit. So let's get to the lick. This lick is starting on the third beat. So it's and then on the three we start playing. And uh, we start with this half step bend up. So last couple licks, we got a couple unique bends. Last one we did a step and a half. This one we're doing a half. And we just kind of climb down the B minor pentatonic scale from there. And from, from the nine, we go seven to eight, either slide or hammer. And then land on the seventh fret on the first string. So, uh, that's it. Again, I encourage you to try and practice this with your fingers. I'll play it one more time slowly through with my fingers. Um, and let's play it one more time at a slow speed.
So there is the last lick. Let's break this one down. This one is um, starting on the second beat. So it's E and boom, I start playing on the second beat there. Starting up on the 11th fret. Just a, a 11, 7, 9. And then we do that very classic BB King thing. That triplet hammer on pull off. And we're on the 7 and 9 here. So 7 and then... Get that sound good, you gotta pull down when you're pulling off on the nine. So make sure your finger is pulling off in the down direction. So, so far it's this. Then we bend up on the ninth. And then either slide or hammer seven to eight. That's landing really strongly on the B. Again, this is an example of we're going seven to eight, and, and when we're doing that, the E is still in the background. We're kind of playing the major scale in anticipation of the B chord coming. So that, would sound, that wouldn't sound good if we had another bar of E coming, but because we're, we got the B coming in the next bar, we're kind of anticipating that. And uh, so we can get away with playing the major scale over over uh, the E chord when we should be playing the minor scale. Um, so that's it, let's play the lick one more time at a slow speed. Mm -hmm. 